Today I'm going to be showing you how to face paint a simple pirate design. Once you have everything set up and ready to go, you'll need to take your big square paintbrush and the red paint. We're going to start in the bandana first of all. You don't have to use the red for this as it can be any face paint colour you wish to do your bandana in. First of all, we're going to need one big line across the forehead above the eyebrows. Then we're going to fill that in with the colour chosen going right up into the hairline. It doesn't matter if you get paint in your hair as it'll wash out. Once you're happy with this you're going to need to wash the big square brush and then use the small pointed brush ready to do an oval shape on one side of the bandana, like this. Then just paint in two ties coming from the oval as if the bandana has been tied up around the head. Try to do one longer than the other and a different size so it looks more realistic, as I'm sure a pirate wouldn't have to worry about it being perfect. Now we're just going to create a small red line down the cheek, ready for it to look like a cut on the face. Now it's time to wash that brush and use the white face paint to put spots on your bandana. Do any design you want to on a bandana such as a skull and crossbones or stripes but today I've gone for simple spots. Don't forget to carry the design onto the tied knot area of the bandana too. Once you're happy with your spots, you're going to need to wash the small pointed brush and move on to the tiny detail pointed brush with the black paint also. We need first of all to put a black line down the middle of the scar to make it look like a darker blood and to help with this we can even use a little bit more red as you can see I'm doing on top of the black to mix it in. So just doing a little drip mark as well coming from the scar. You don't have to do this, it's entirely your choice. Then we're going to 
create the stitch marks over the top of this scar and this is quite simple to do. All we need to do is just use the black and create curved lines over the top of the scar. Just like this. Then we're going to wash that brush out and then use the white paint for just a shine look above each stitch mark to make it stand out a little bit more. bandana we just need to go around the bottom of the bandana first of all and then we will be going around the outside of the tied knotted area too you can outline your spots if you really want to, but I prefer not to in this case. For extra details, we can just do crease lines on the bandana at random, just like I'm going to do now. of course don't forget to do the same on the tied knot area too. For this next bit we're going to need the tiny detail brush and the black to do a very small line above the eyelid area. face paint too just above the black line you'll see why I'm going to need the grey in a minute then we're just going to use a sponge to blend out those two colours around the eyelid and just below the eye area too this is going to create a black eye look to our pirate Sometimes less is more when you are going to create a black eye look, as it can get too messy. to the small pointed brush and using the black paint again I'm going to do the eye patch now you can do a circular eye patch or create one like I'm doing here which has a straighter line on the top of the eye patch once your eye patch is filled in you have to be very careful going around the eye area especially. We're 
you're going to need to create two lines which will then represent the elastic holding on the eye patch. Now it's time to put your brushes down and use an eyeliner pencil or an eyebrow pencil. It can be the colour of black or dark brown. This is easier to use than a famous paintbrush for facial hair because it will seem more effective and it's easier to control and work with. As you can see I'm just creating a faint line first of all for the shape and the size of my moustache. You can have any shape you like with a moustache. Then I'm just going to create tiny lines or flicks to create a hair look. As you can see I'm just following my very faint line first of all around the shape of my moustache I have created. If you fancy putting on a beard or more facial hair onto your pirate, you can. I'm just going to create a small beard here with a leading line of hair below the bottom of it, like this. Almost in a triangle shape. And then I'll just do some more around the chin area as well. And there we have it, one completed pirate face paint design. I'd love you to have a go and send your designs in. Thanks for watching.